I was stressed about my life in New York. I was stressed that I was balding, and then I was balding because I was stressed. Not a good cycle to be in. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and to today's video. If you're new here, don't worry, we all are, myself included. I used to make YouTube videos about seven or eight years ago and stopped because life. And now I'm back because Corona and extra time. I make videos about my life in New York, mainly about my apartment, home decor, style tips. If you're new here, I'll link a few of my past videos below to give you a sense of what kind of content I make. Today's video has very little to do with my life in New York and a lot to do with my hair. This has been requested by a few of my subscribers, so thank you guys for your feedback. I really love making videos that you guys want to see, so this video is going to be about what supplements I took, how I take care of my hair, and how I style it when it's in its healthy state. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so here's the backstory. If you haven't watched my first year in New York video, I will link it down below because it goes into detail about the main reasons I was so stressed and losing my hair. Basically, I moved to New York about a year ago and with that move being jobless and homeless for a little bit and trying to settle into this new lifestyle, I was under immense stress. So I was stress balding. I wasn't losing like my hair in clumps. It happened very gradually, but it was just a lot of excess shedding. And having thick, long hair for all of my life, shedding is normal for me. I I'm shedding constantly. I shed a lot in the summer, kind of like a dog. So it wasn't until I saw my hairstylist who I've been seeing for maybe eight, nine years in LA. When she was cutting my hair, she was like, Sam, I can see your scalp. I've never been able to see your scalp before. Like, are you okay? Are you, you good, bro? You okay? And I was like, well, I've been under a lot of stress lately. Like New York is a stressful place. It is not an easy place to live and not like my lifestyle in California. And that was my first step in realizing that like my hair was actually really starting to fall out. So that of course stressed me out a lot more. The worst thing that you can do to yourself when you are stress balding is panic and freak out and stress out more because you're balding. That just adds more stress. <laughs> I was stressed about my life in New York. I was stressed that I was balding and then I was balding because I was stressed. Not a good cycle to be in. Anyway, I kicked my self-care routine into high gear and the first thing that I did was start taking supplements and I took a wide range of supplements. The first thing I started with was Biosil, and I got this off of Amazon. I did a lot of research on it, and it's also available at Whole Foods. This was the supplement that I started a month before everything else, and I think it's the supplement that helped me the most. A month after I started taking it, I also started taking a multivitamin, vitamin E, flaxseed oil, Super Moon Hair by Moon Juice. Uh, overpriced, and I'm not quite sure that it worked, so I wouldn't bother. And I'm sure that all of those supplements combined were helping the growth process, but I think that I saw the most effective results from Biosil. And that's because about a month after I started taking the Biosil, before I started taking the other supplements, my nails started getting really thick and strong. And at that point they were very weak and brittle and they would crack and they would flake and they would break and I couldn't grow them. Now they are just like super strong. And then uh, two months after taking Biosil, I started noticing a ton of baby hairs framing my face, growing, popping out of my scalp. My hair started growing a lot longer. At that point, March, April of last year, my hair was like maybe five or six inches shorter, like just past my shoulder. I had cut it for my birthday in 2018 and so it was pretty short. And now you can see it's like, when it's not curled, it's like, it's past my waist. If you're gonna start taking supplements, I would highly recommend Biosil to start with, just see if that works. After replenishing my Biosil for three months, I, stopped taking it because my hair was at a good length. It was strong, it was healthy, and it was growing long. I just didn't 
feel the need to continue anymore. So now the only supplements that I take to maintain like all of my body's normal functions are my Ritual multivitamin and vitamin B12. And that's because I eat like an 80, 85% plant-based diet. So as long as you take a good quality multivitamin, that should be enough for your hair. But if you really want to up the ante, I would highly recommend taking Biocil to help your hair growth and your nail growth along. I mean, I wasn't too concerned with my nails, like I'm not a hand model or anything, but it was just a nice bonus that my nails were getting some love too. The next thing that I did to start treating my hair loss was implementing Nioxin into my hair wash days. I only wash my hair two to three times a week. I've always done that just because I, washing your hair every day is bad for it and it strips your hair. But on the days that I do wash my hair, I use Nioxin. I only use the shampoo and conditioner, but I believe each of their treatment lines has four or five products in them. So depends on the severity of your hair loss. If you are experiencing something and you want to go ham with all of the products, they have a leave-in treatment. I believe they have like a scalp therapy leave-in treatment. I don't know. They have a bunch of products for each of their lines and the line that I use is for colored hair uh, and progressed thinning. Definitely look into Nioxin if you yourself are experiencing any hair loss or you just want thicker, fuller hair. It definitely helps and it's more of like a scalp treatment. After you use it, after you shampoo your hair and condition, it has this squeaky clean tingly feeling on your scalp and I think it's because it's meant to stimulate the follicle of your hair. One, cleanse the, the follicle to remove any buildup around the base and two, to stimulate blood flow so that more oxygen and nutrients can go to the follicle and it can start growing again. Also during hair wash days, I use this, it's called a shampoo brush and it is amazing. You kind of just rub it up and down and this definitely helps with the buildup on your scalp. This also gets rid of any buildup on your scalp and helps to work the product in. And it also just feels really good. Like it feels like a nice head massage when you're in the shower. Definitely recommend this shampoo brush. Another thing that I think helped get my hair to a healthy place was I stopped using dry shampoo, you guys. Dry shampoo makes your hair fall out. There are many articles on this and Baptiste, I believe it is, is the one that people are really saying makes your hair fall out. That was the kind I had and I threw that shit out because I realized that I was using dry shampoo quite a bit. It's because the talc and the powder in the dry shampoo builds up on the follicle, causes inflammation and irritation, and then causes increased shedding of your hair. So. Just something to keep in mind if you are an avid dry shampoo user, I would cut back or cut it out completely. The next thing that I did was cut back on the amount of heat I was using on my hair. So I never really blow dry it because I usually shower at night and then let my hair air dry while I sleep. And then I wake up with kind of like a tousled bed head look, which I ain't mad about because my hair is stick straight, almost annoyingly so. so when I sleep with it while it's wet, it gives me body and volume and a little bit of texture, which I like. But if you blow dry it a lot, if you heat style it a lot, I would cut back just until your hair is healthy enough to withstand the extra damage that you're applying to it. Because when you're experiencing hair loss and thinning, the last thing that you want to do is subject your healthy hair, the hair that's still on your head, to extra stress and damage through styling it. One of my favorite tools to to detangle is this detangler brush. You can get it at Target, you can get it on Amazon. This brand is called Beauty Precision and I quite like it. Guys, be gentle with the hair that you do have. I have seen so many videos on YouTube and Instagram where girls are just like brushing their hair like they're mad at it. Gotta be gentle. Even if you have really coarse, thick, strong hair, I just have a technique of brushing where I will take all of it to one side, start at the ends, and very, very gently take out the tangles. I will never pull a brush through it. Anytime there's tension on the brush, I remove the brush and start going over it gently again. 
So I'll keep working. Just reduces the amount of breakage that you experience. So, but brushing is really important because it helps to stimulate the follicle. It helps distribute the oils from your scalp into the rest of your hair shaft. Yeah, so you should be brushing your hair, but you shouldn't be doing it rough. You should be doing it gently. All right, guys, so now that my hair is in a healthier state and it's grown a ton and the thickness is pretty close to how it was before I started stress balding. I am heat styling it again and I'll take you through my heat styling routine when I do feel like getting zhuzhed up, usually just for YouTube videos. Anyway, it takes 10 minutes tops and it's a really simple hair care routine. So first I will go in with my favorite detangling brush starting at the ends, brushing it out, making sure I have as much evenly distributed oils from my scalp to help protect the ends. I actually don't use a heat protectant, which I know is probably frowned upon by some, but I just don't have one and I haven't really felt the need to buy one. This is what I do. And the curling wand that I use is this oblong shaped curling iron that I bought from Target about eight years ago. And if you're an OG subscriber, you will recognize this from my clipless curler summer waves video. So what I will do is tie half of my hair up, clip, and I'm not too precious about any of this. I go for the lived-in, messy wave look after using this curler for eight years. The trick I've found is to kind of move your hair along the shaft and it will create this like unusually shaped curl that looks a little odd. Oh my god, you guys, that was so annoying. My ca As soon as I started filming this part, my camera died. I don't have an extra battery, so I had to literally stand here and wait until it was charged enough. As you can see, this curl loosened up a bit, but this is what the wave will look like. I don't do this too precisely. Whatever my hair wants to do, I kind of just go with it. But the one thing that I do try to maintain is this dragging motion across the shaft and it ends up being a really pretty wave. Sometimes I go in the same direction. Right now I am going in the same direction. Other times I will kind of reverse and each time it looks a little different, which I like. I don't like when my hair looks the same all the time. I want it to look lived in. My hair hashtag, lived in hair. And I know that's Ann Cotran's tagline for his line of work. If you don't know, Ann Cotran is a famous hairstylist. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat on all sides. I'm grabbing about one inch, one to two inch sections of hair. Again, you don't have to be precise. The messier, the better in my opinion, but just drag it across. It, it creates like a, a fuller wave, I feel like. By the way, this curling iron, like I mentioned earlier, is about eight years old. So if I can find it or something similar to it, I will link it in the description box. But just know that, I don't know, it's been a great little tool to have because, knock on wood, it has not given me any grief. The heat settings are on point and they create such a unique wave. I always get compliments when I do my hair with this thing. And for the top section of my hair, I kind of see how it wants to split. Sometimes I'm a left parter, sometimes I'm a right parter. 
sometimes on my middle parter. I think it looks better on the left, the right today. So just take the remaining pieces. And so as I get closer to the top of my head, I'll grab larger pieces of hair so that it doesn't look like little ringlets, like Shirley Temple ringlets. For me, I think it's just a preference and it also depends on your hair type. I like to go tighter when I'm at the bottom sections of my hair because those are the curls that go flat the fastest. So I want those the curliest, if that makes sense. But as I get closer to the top of my head, these ones stay nice and curly for a while as they get tousled around. My hair does not hold curl that well. Yeah, the top layers of my hair just want it to look super relaxed. Make sure I didn't miss anything like this guy. And for my bangs, I don't want to leave them flat, but they have a nice little bend to them already. So what I will do is I will very, very, very lightly go like not even two seconds go in with the curling iron literally just wave one two done cool and so i use very little product on my hair like i mentioned earlier i stay away from dry shampoo and i don't really like the feeling of hairspray in my hair so techni art is actually a line by anko tran it's the l'oreal professional line and I got it from my hairstylist. It's a texturizing spray that smells so good. It really gives you that lived in perfect house of look. So my hair is pretty much cooled because my hair loses curls so quickly. I don't wanna mess them up while they're still hot because they'll just go flat. So my hair is like 90% cooled. It's a little warm to the touch, but it's fine. And I will just go in at my root a little bit. really shake that in to my scalp and voila you have my signature curled effortless lived in look you know right now it looks a little poofy and crazy but as the day goes on and they start to relax just a bit oh look at that my hair decided it wanted to part on this side my hair tells me how it feels and I listen because it's the boss. Kind of just flop it around, play with it until I'm happy with it. And it gives me that, I just went to the beach, splashed in the water a tiny bit and the salt from the water ended up in my hair and scrunched it into this perfectly effortless wave look. If, if that's what you're going for, yeah. This is the my go-to look for waves all year long. And now that I am heat styling my hair again because it's healthier and I've done all of that work for a year to get it back to this condition. Taking my supplements, using Nioxin, being really gentle with it. So it goes in. 